and we just want them to have a good experience. You can't have the 4th of July without red, white, and blue, and of course, fireworks. But for many of our furry friends, those loud noises can be anxiety inducing. Many times the big issue is trying to keep kind of a, a calm area. Background music can help. Dr. Tracy Schlitzka runs CVETS, Columbia's emergency hospital for animals, and says noise anxiety in our pets is not uncommon. Sometimes you can use food motivation, you know, just help to keep their mind a little bit off of what's going on. Try to just let them sit beside you, you know, maybe some extra treats or a chew bone, something to kind of keep their mind off it. Some other good tips, exercise them during the day so they're nice and worn out by the time the fireworks start. Give them toys or treats to keep them busy, play music or turn on the TV for ambient noise, and keep them inside so they don't run away. And if you can't, Anytime you um, have a situation where you might be out and about and your pet could get startled and is not in a confined area, you know, making sure they have their tags on that has their identification, your phone number, possibly your address, being microchipped are great ways to get your pet back home if something were to happen and they were to run off. All of these tips can help combat the loud fireworks, but there are other important things to remember too. We definitely have fireworks at the top of our mind with 4th of July, but some of the major emergencies that we see are also associated with heat stress. So remember if you're out and you have the family barbecue and they're gonna run around and the kids are gonna throw a ball with them all day, just make sure you're keeping an eye out um, that they're managing their activity and not overdoing it. For more helpful advice on keeping your furry friends safe and happy, visit our website at wltx.com slash street squad.